Hello friends, myself Rakesh. Welcome to Expo Hub. Today we will learn how to handle dynamic body and subject of the email. So what do I mean is, let's say you are sending a static email. So last time we have seen in the previous example, we were sending a static email. Now in this example, what I want, I wanted to send an email where let's say I am sending it to, let's say these are the two people his name should come okay and there are two places one is in the subject line project report managed by so let's say i am sending it to rakesh right with a specific email address and project he is handling is five so what i want is it should say project report managed by rakesh which will be the subject line and in the body it should show the name right it should show hello rakesh and the next email which goes to let's say Gopal, even though it's a different email address of mine, but I'm giving a different name to demonstrate this. So in the second email, it should say, hello, Gopal. The, the total project count under your name is, so it has a different count. So two, he's handling two different projects. So it should say two. So how, so how do you dynamically change this is something we are going to learn. All right, so let's get started. Okay. So in the previous video, you have seen how I'm using the static way of using a master file, right? And using the master file, I was utilizing the two field. So I was using a dictionary that you have seen in the previous video. Okay. Now, how do you dynamically use is something we need to learn. Okay. So let's first understand your email list is a different sheet, which has got name, which has got email, which has got projects on hand. It has the count. So what I have to do, the first thing I have to do is simply use a read range activity. Okay. Use a read range activity and put that within the Excel application scope. So this is my Excel application scope. If you scroll up, you can see that this is the Excel application scope and within that it is there. Okay. Within the Excel application, application scope, it is there. So it knows which is that file. It is the same file just a different sheet so the different sheet name is email list so here email list and it should read the entire range okay now this one i have already created a data table called control plus k email list dot dt okay and this one email list dot dt is something with the entire sequence so i can utilize anywhere in the sequence i have applied it to the master sequence okay done so i am reading all the data so that means I am reading the name, email, project, row by row, I will read. So if I have to read row by row, I have to use a for each loop. Okay. So let's use a for each loop. Okay. And within the for each loop, let's say I am reading the first row. So it will read Rakesh email address and the project on hand. Right. So I want it should send the email to the first one. Then it should read second one and should send the email to the second one. So I'm using the send SMTP mail message within the for each row. Okay. Now here, what I have to do, I have to use the data table, which is email list data table, which is reading my email list. Okay. All right. So once it's done, now what I want, I want it to, so change this, the previous setup that we had done. So I have to read from the row, right? So for each row, the, so the first value will be here. So if I go back to the Excel file, so row name, if I say, so when the loop runs for the first time, the name value will be Rakesh. When I say row within bracket, if I say email, that will have the, this value. When I say project hand, this will have this value, right? This is understood. Now when it runs for the second time, then it will have the, these values. Okay. This is understood. Now what I will do in the two section, I will simply say row put brackets and within double quote, I want to access the name column. Correct. Okay. Then I should say two string. So if I simply do this, what would happen? It is going to read the name. So I, sorry, it should read the email, right? Not the name. So I should say email because it, the email is the second field, isn't it? So it has to send it to this email ID, isn't it? So the two fields should be email. Okay. So now 
I have done this. Now, next thing that we will learn how to mask, you know, change the values within the subject and the body dynamically. So let me just run this and see. There should be two emails which should go. Okay. Once we are successful in this part one, then we'll get into the part two. Okay, guys. So you can see the ex execution has completed. Let me go back to my email, and I am in the sent folder. Okay, now you can see there are two emails which was sent just now, 8:12 p.m. 8:12 p.m. Okay, two emails were sent. Okay, let me open the first one. So you can see the first one. So we have to work on this one. But right now you can see it has sent to one is the gmail.com, and the second one when the loop run for the second time, then the second one has sent to hotmail.com, which is correct. Okay, so email list. If I go, so there are two different email IDs. It has sent to hotmail and the gmail.com. Okay, now what I want, I want in the body it should say Rakesh, and in the second email should say Gopal. Right? So how to do that? Okay, for that I will go to the body, and here I will make the changes. For this, first thing is I have to format this. Okay. All I will do is I will say string dot format and put close everything within the brackets. Done. Now come within the bracket, put a comma, and here I wanted to access row. So we are still inside the for each loop, isn't it? So row. Then I wanted to access the name, right? So here I will put double quote, and within the double quote. I will simply say name, and then I will say dot to string. Clear? So what I am doing? String dot format. I put the entire bracket to this master dot body, which we have seen in the previous example, and then dot. Only thing I am adding is comma row name dot to string. Okay, so it will access the first name Rakesh, then it will access the second name Gopal. Okay, I know how to access it. Now go back to your master file where you have the static message, right? So I want to make it dynamic now. So how to make it dynamic? Very simple. Here, simply write zero. So it will access the zero element. That means when I go to the body, so I put only one comma, and I have written row. Name. So let's say I'm putting another comma row dot project, which we will see just after this. Okay. So simply run this and see if we are getting two emails. One email should have Rakesh. The other email should say Gopal. Right. So let me run it. Let's go back to the Gmail. Let me refresh the sent item. Okay, so 818, 818. There are two emails. Let me open the first one. So here you can see it said hello Rakesh. Okay, and then go back. The next one also is saying hello Gopal, isn't it? So it has, you know, it is taking the name. So we learned how to dynamically pass the values. Remember one thing, guys. You might encounter problems. So once you put a zero here, ensure you know you are saving it. Okay, saving your Excel file. Otherwise, what was previously saved that will be taken. So in case that is not working because you have not saved it, remember to hit on save. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I also wanted to pass how many projects he is handling, right? So he is handling five projects and the second person is handling two projects. So I want to pass this values. To do that, again go to the body because I have to work on the body of the email. Go here, and here, as you have retrieved the name, the same thing you have to retrieve for the project. So you have to say comma row within brackets, double quotes, and here what the exact name of that 
this is project on hand right so let me copy this so that i don't make a spelling mistake and here i should write project on hand okay now here i have to say dot to string so the first one was zero and this one will become one index okay the index what you are mentioning in the excel file so if i go back to the excel file go to the body here the to the total project of the count under your name is here all you have to do is within curly braces you have to simply say one because i am accessing the one so let me show you again so this one row dot name dot to string is zero and this one will be one if you want to access anything else that will become two three four like that so the count goes on so you understood the concept okay as i have done this changes let me go here and let me run this this time it should say hello rakesh number of projects you are handling in so and so and certain things okay so let's run it and see this okay so the execution completed let me go back to the sent items now it's 821 let me refresh it okay so you can see that two emails are there let me open this one and it's saying hello rakesh you can say the project count under your name is 5 so you understood how to utilize that okay and it will be the there for this second email too okay so you can see hello gopal the total project count under your name is so and so isn't it so everything is appearing okay wonderful now i want to do change to the subject line i think that you understood how to do it so here so the subject and then i want to access something else so again you will use the similar one so what you will do you will say string dot format put all of this inside the bracket okay and then give a comma here i want to access what row the name i want to access right so it will say the number of projects you are handling rakesh so let me show you that in the excel file the subject is project report managed by so and so so managed by here i want the data okay for that all i have to do is string dot format done then row then within double quotes you have to say name the field okay come out of this and then say to string clear okay click okay go back to your email here again you want to take the zero index data right so i'll simply say zero all right clear now let me save this remember to save it okay then let me run it again okay so the execution is completed now my main focus is see you can see the title in the subject my name has come project report managed by rakesh okay so this is what i want in the project report managed by gopal okay you can see that it's coming so this is what i wanted to teach you in this tutorial thank you guys thank you very much and please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it we come up with more practical examples with my team thank you very much you have a wonderful day